So we are basically saying uh, that how do you make your existing infrastructure a smart infrastructure? How do we deliver energy efficiency in the existing infrastructures? If you look at the problems that are faced by retail chains and banks, they tend to have very, very large distributed infrastructures. These distributed infrastructures you know, create massive governance problems around the operation of their electrical infrastructure. We decided to solve this problem by building Wattman, which is a fully automated energy control and monitoring product. What it does is it automatically controls major electrical loads at these outlets or stores. So such a product didn't exist in the market. Uh, there was a need for this product, but the biggest challenge for us was to create awareness about the product, that what problems this product solves. So now you have a centralized control uh, platform, you know, the efficient operation of these electrical assets. Plus the product also monitors their real-time energy consumption and temperature for compliance purposes. And eventually we use a lot of machine learning and artificial intelligence. So let's say you walk into your office at 9 a.m. in the morning, and the building is already preconditioned, which means somebody turned on the air conditioning much before you walked in, right? So how much earlier should the air conditioning be turned on is largely based on thumb rules. Using the data that we collect, we will analyze the cooling rate of the building and looking at the weather outside today, we were able to predict to say that today you should switch on at 7.48 to guarantee that by 9 o'clock you will your building will reach out to 24 degrees Celsius. Also uh, Zenetix you know, engages with the customers in a subscription based model. So some collection of benefits way higher than the subscription pay cost of our product, which means that the customers really become cash flow positive uh, you know, right from first month. So we raised our first round back in 2015. We raised an angel round from a bunch of very reputed angels in India. So the likes of Rajan Anandan, uh, founders of Snapdeal, both Rohit and Kunal, uh, Rahul Khanna. And after that, we also managed to raise a small seed round from Blue Ventures. So for the next round, we, we met pretty much every single VC and the pre-Series A investor in the country. So we have, ultimately, we are fortunate. We managed to raise about eight crores uh, from Pi Ventures and Bloom Ventures. So Vishal, Ramarjeet and I have been friends for more than 18 years now. We, we went to college together, uh, that was IIT Delhi, uh, class of 2002. So the best thing about you know, working with your friends, you, you know each other for so many years, is really the trust that you would have with each other. At times it happens that because you, have, you go back so many years and you have strong friendship, you sometimes are not that critical as you should be of the other person. Maybe at times we do get a little more relaxed and may not question the thought process of the other person. So we do a lot of brainstorms, but sometimes, you know, in lack of positive time, we'll say that, you know, you just run with it and I'll, I'll, I'll you know, rally behind you. You know, don't be an entrepreneur because everybody else want to be an entrepreneur. I think that's the biggest mistake. Because the moment you start becoming your own boss, that means you have much more responsibilities. I think you really, really need to be passionate about the problem that you're solving because if you don't solve that problem, you're not going to go anywhere. You may build something that you think will solve the problem, but it may not be the right solution, which means that you need to sort of iterate multiple times, like we did. When you're running a startup, and even if you're working in a startup, you're not working in one particular function. You know, that, that something has to be very, very clear to everybody that your job, you know, if you are a software developer, your job is not to write the best code. Your job is to write the best code that can drive business for the company. Superhero